Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, June 13th, 2017. Remember quickly, trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations, always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here with our regular Tuesday morning video in an interesting week. The Fed meets today and they will be offering some guidance on where interest rates are going tomorrow, so worth keeping an eye on that for sure. We always like to start our videos off with a look at the Russell Index, and for that we use the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000, and we like to look at it on a big five-year monthly time frame. We've been paying attention to this area up here, this little wedge that's been taking shape. Um, this orange line is our bottom line of support, and this black line is our upper trend line, where the Russell seems to run out of steam a little bit in these last several uh, series of monthly candles. We've noted that the candle for the month of May was a red one, and here we are for the month of June so far. Certainly a nice bullish orientation to it, but it's got to stay that way. We'll see if it does. I'm going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the two-year weekly so we can better see that price action. So same orange line of support down here and that same upper uh, black trend line where you can see the Russell hit this area, this black line, in February, March, sold off, hit it again in April, sold off, and here we are right up there again. I'm going to move it away from the two-year weekly to the nine-month daily. So you can see we hit that black line. I have not moved that line uh, in, in weeks, if not months. And it's interesting the way it just comes up, kisses it. Uh, so we'll see. Yesterday was a bit of a red day, but undecided. This morning, the future is getting off to a bit of a green start. So we'll see if we can make our way finally up and through that black uh, area of resistance or whether we're going to roll over again. So we just want to be careful of that and again that Fed decision tomorrow might be a mover. But with price overall on the Russell Index up and over that 8-day EMA, we will be putting a new chart forward this morning. And so that new name I'm going to add to our watch list this morning is Finisar Corporation, ticker symbol FNSR trades on the NASDAQ exchange. Before I get into the chart though, let me tell you a little bit more about the company. A lot of you might not be familiar with Finisar, but it was incorporated in 1987. They are an optical networking company and they are one of the bigger ones. You know what Chart of the Day Cafe? It's all about value and Finisar has an excellent value score. Rarely do I see value scores this high, so really in the higher range. Second thing I look for is growth. And Finisar has a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 38%. Third thing I look for, it's not a must like value and growth, is a dividend. And unfortunately, Finisar does not pay a dividend, but I love this chart. I love those scores. I'm putting it forward anyway. Current PE is 12.07. And so with that, let's get into the, the chart. We're looking at the two-year weekly chart. You can see overall Finisar is in an uptrend on the two-year. Liking the way it is trading here on the weekly, we had that sell-off in tech uh, last Friday and a bit yesterday, but the futures are starting off a little bit in the green. Should tech recover, Finisar is one I would definitely have on my radar. So it's early yet, but really like the look of this chart and the company behind it. So I'm going to move it away from the two-year weekly to the six-month daily so we can better see how price is behaving. Uh, you know that at Chart of the Day Cafe, it's all about price being up and over this blue 8-day EMA. But you can see that it sort of consolidated here, came in, had lift in that area of support, been consolidating again. Should tech start to recover? It's early yet for Finisar for sure, but I will be keeping this on my watch list and I'll be looking for a move up and over the blue 8-day EMA. Uh, worth noting, Finisar has earnings coming up later this week so we're very close to their earnings date uh, we'll see what happens but I will be keeping an eye along with the new name we're adding to our watch list we always like to take a look at the sector that it's in and for that we're going to go take a look at XLK which is the ETF that represents the technology sector weekly chart to your weekly chart you can see it's in this beautiful beautiful uptrend we've had some recent selling so I'm going to zoom it into this area here I'm going to take a look at the nine-month daily. 
so there's that ugly selling with volume but we had a defense of this area that might offer some support so here was a low but we might be making a little bit of a higher low here we will see it's all about follow through but should technology recover Finisar would be one to keep an eye on as well so I'll be looking for technology to move up and back over our blue eight day EMA. We also like to look at seasonality for our chart picks and for that we go to equityclock.com excellent excellent site and here is the seasonal chart for Finisar you can see that in the month of June it starts to get traction and see some price strength come in no guarantee that happens this year but always nice to know I also like to take a look at Finviz and see how analysts are supporting my watch list picks. And you can go to Finviz yourself, but you can see that it's had recent upgrades, and for the most part, these are all pretty positive. Lots of great articles down here, too. I'm going to include two of them with today's video. And so to summarize, let's go back and check our boxes for Finisar. We started today's video with a look at the Russell Index. We can see that the Russell is in an overall uptrend. Having said that, over the last several months, that uptrend has been flattening out and trading in a sideways price pattern. But currently, price is up and over the 8-day EMA on the daily chart. We looked at XLK, the technology sector ETF, and we note that it's in an uptrend on the 2-year chart and in an area of possible support and lift. Same with Finisar, uptrend on the two-year chart, area of possible support and lift. It's got an amazing value score. It's got a great growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate of 38%. That's a big high number. Does not pay a dividend, so that's not uh, the box is not checked. It does not have a 3 and 8 EMA daily cross, but it does have seasonality in its favor. It does have analyst support, current PE of 12.16. And it looks as though earnings are on June 15th, right around the corner. So with that, I will leave you. We'll put our next video out on Thursday. Have a great next couple of days.